This is John from Knoxville, Tennessee. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. We're going to try this Strike King Red Eye Shad for a little while and see if we can get a bite out here. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Let's see if we can get a bite. There's a lot of sticks and shit out here in the water. I just had a big stick right there. I can always switch to something smaller. The little two inch jerk bait might be what the doctor ordered. I can't give up on this so soon though, just in case there's a big old bass out here, just waiting for my red eye shad to swim by. All right, we've changed it up. We're going with the two inch jerk bait from Salmo. This was sent into the show a couple years ago by RPF, Randall Pink Floyd. It's one of my favorite lures, pretty much of all time. Let's see if we can get a bite. Maybe I'll get a skipjack, maybe I'll get a bass, maybe a bluegill, maybe nothing. Oh, 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 hey, I had a strike right there from a skipjack. I saw the flash. Pretty nice size skipjack too. Let's try again, see if he's still around. This is JMO from the Cross Country Bank Angler YouTube channel, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Did you see that strike? Wow, had another strike. They are fast and wild, and they don't always hit their target. But when they do get ready for a fight, a jumping fight. Got him. Got something. Oh, it's a skipjack. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one too. Yes, yes, got something. Get these leaves off them. Check them out. We got about a 12 to 13 inch skipjack here. He's really, really wily. He's got a mouth like a tarpon. Tennessee tarpon right here. Best fighting fish out here right now. Skipjack. Oh, oh, that might have been a bite. Like I was saying earlier, they are a fast and furious fish. 
they miss the lure a lot. The cool thing is they keep going for it. If they miss it and you keep that retrieve going, they will keep trying to get it. If they're in the area and you cast there again, they'll go for it again. I don't know if you can see the rings out there, but there are some shad out there hitting the surface. Not in big groups like they're getting chased. They're just touching the surface, causing some little rings. Oh, 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 did you see him? Did you see him? He swiped at that three or four times and missed every time. Let's see if he's still around. Let's try that again. I hope the camera could see that. Wow. Had another bite. Yeah, if the camera could pick that fish up underwater like I hope it could, you can see him come up and chase it down three or four times. He missed it every time. He wanted it real bad, but he just couldn't grab it. Yo, this is a Psycho Medic, member of the Assassin's of Souls, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's try this side. fish. There we go. Look at that bend. Look at that. Good fight on these. Good. Yes. Let's get them up here. This one's a little bit smaller. I got a lot of treble hooks flying around here, so I got to be careful. Here we go. Fish number two. Trying to get the whole thing in frame. This one's a little bit smaller, maybe 11 inches. Good catch though. It's the end of November and I'm still catching fish out here in open water. Tennessee tarpon right here. Let's let him go. Sweet fish number two. Let's keep trying. Did I get him? I got him. Oh, that feels like a good one. That feels like a good one. Oh, he's foul hooked. That's why he feels extra strong. Yeah, yeah, let's get him off the hook. I gotta be extra careful with this one so I don't get hooked. Yes, another one. Another one. Look at him. Look at that mouth. Look at his tongue and gills. They're all black inside. Interesting. Interesting looking fish. Let's let him go. One more quick look. I've already lost count. I don't know if that was fish number three or four. I don't really care. Let's get back to fishing. Let's talk about the rig and setup real quick. You already know all about this Selmo Minnow. Any other small jerkbait would work just fine. A Rapala, a Storm, a Rebel. Even a cheapy off-brand would probably work. I also have a couple of pinch-on sinkers about, I don't know, 10 to 15 inches above the bait so that it can still have its twitching motion and side-to-side -side swimming action. I got six pound test line on a 
medium fast action spinning combo here. This happens to be a Mach 2. Doesn't really matter though. You could probably catch these on a Snoopy pole. Let's get back to fishing. Hey y'all, this is Matt from Ghost Town Blues Band and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Remember to keep it realistic. <laughs> I'm using a straight retrieve with a few twitches like this every now and then. I'm not reeling it in too fast. That's about the speed right there. So medium retrieve speed, occasional twitches, and they like it. Oh, do they like it. They're out here feeding on shad. So anything you have that's a good shad imitator would probably work. This just happens to be one of my favorites. Again, thanks to Randall Pink Floyd for sending it into the show. I may have never tried a Selmo minnow if it wasn't for him. Oh. I saw one. I had a bite down there. We got fish in the area. I keep coming back to this spot. Deer Poach Park and the log. I got a lot of options. I could go to maybe six or seven different fishing spots right now. But this one is good this time of year. There is a steep drop off out this way probably down to 40 or 50 feet. A shallow cove right next to it and a creek channel going that way. That makes the perfect storm right here for cold weather. Deep water, shallow water, shad. Good fishing conditions for skipjack. Oh, I had him for a moment. He come off. He's chasing it. I see him. Got him. Got him. Couldn't get away from me that time. Listen to that line strain. There we go. Another one. Another awesome fall skipjack here. You know, this is my favorite fish to catch in the fall. They're around and they bite. And they jump and they fight. Good fish, let's let them go. You know, trophy cat fishermen would kill to be able to catch as many skipjack as I do. Especially from a public park, from the bank. Let's keep going. Something tried. Got him. Wow. Wow. Come on. Here we go. Another one. Here we go. Another gorgeous skipjack. Look at that thing. How many is that now? Six? Seven? I don't even know. I'm just catching them pretty much one after the other on the magic lure, Selmo Minnow. Hello, I'm Larry Cooter, part of the Tennessee Assault Crew, where we uh, break necks and cash checks. But you're watching Realistic Fishing, keep it realistic. All right, I got time for one more, but like I was saying, Trophy cat fishermen would kill to catch them as easily and as quickly as I am. This is not a game fish. I don't think there's a limit on how many you can keep. You can just catch them and freeze them and have awesome bait pretty much any time. 
I got a couple in my freezer. If I kept them all throughout these last couple of months, I would have 50 of them, but what would I do with 50 skipjack, right? I'm just catching them for fun. One more, one more and we're out of here. Got him, way out there. Good, good fight. All right. We guide you on over to my landing zone. Wow, that's a big one. Last fish of the day right here. Look at the color on this fish. Gold, maybe a tiny bit of green. Gorgeous fish right here. Last one. Amazing specimen right here. Last fish of the day. These skipjack just gave me an awesome hour of fishing. Maybe not even. I've been here, what, 45 minutes to an hour? I lost count. I lost count. This is so awesome. Let's let him go. I could probably catch five more if I wanted, but it's time to go. I tried the lipless crankbait, and as you saw, none of them wanted to go for it. While it does look like a shad, it's too big, it's too loud. When I went with the two inch jerk bait, they were all over it. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.